Hello and welcome to Lovecraft's Untold Stories. I did try it a little bit, but we're going to go with new story. Detective John Murphy. A hard-bitten private eye, Murphy hails from New Orleans Police Department where he served under the celebrated Inspector Legrasse. Murphy is tough, straight-talking, and has a keen eye for facts and targets. Legrasse had a profound effect on Murphy. It wasn't just the art of detective detection Murphy learned from the old man. Okay. In Legrasse, he found the father figure he'd always lacked. When Legrasse returned from St. Louis, Louis pale and withdrawn after attending, of all things, the American Archaeological Society annual meeting and suddenly retired, it so rocked Murphy he also handed in his notice. Unwilling to work under anyone else, Murphy set up his own PI firm. On his desk, Detective Mercy keeps the exquisitely crafted Gorgon statue Legrasse left him as a parting gift. Okay, would that be the... Would, well, if you, if, if you have read Lovecraft stories, uh, the, the American Archaeological Society, Legrasse went there with a Cthulhu statue and got some insight. Now, I wonder if uh, Detective John Murphy, Murphy got the statue and thinks it's a Gorgon. Legrasse's Telegram You retire out of the blue, there's no contact for months, and then uh, just a telegram reading, Murphy, stop. Chateau Hill, Massachusetts. Stop. Bring gun. Stop. Urgent help needed. Stop. Bayou Colt. Stop. Well, I'm here for you, Legrasse. Alright, so here's our guy. And here's our map. This little initial area is, all, is probably always the same. Just your little tutorial area. But the rest of the, uh, the Chateau Hill Mansion is supposed to be randomly generated. Pile of cigarette filters here. Legrasse's brand. But the rest of the mansion is supposed to be randomly generated. And as you go through, you get various equipment, uh, artifacts, I think. And other things. Okay, this is the annoying one. It's going to take a while. Uh, sort of like, uh... God damn it, what's... Of course, now I can't remember it now. Oh, Binding of Isaac. Oh, we got some explosives. This is Legrasse's old detective notepad. He must have kept it when he retired. The pages have been torn out. Alright, so of course we get all sorts of different kinds of inventory. Uh, several sets of footprints. I'm sure there was a struggle here. This doesn't look good. And we can throw explosives. That's a little loud. Sound. Actually, there we go. The corpse of one of a member of the one corpse of one of a member of one of the secret societies or cults I've been encountering. Search it, undress him. Let's go let's go detective. The tongue had been split down the middle, several teeth had been filed, the finger and tail toenails removed and cauterized. There's a crudely performed ca partial castration. The navel has been sewn shut and the nipples have been removed. I mean phew. At least knowing this will make them easier to spot in the future. Yeah, he suffered. Alright, since we got the iron key, there is a chest down there that we can go pick up. It only has a first aid kit, but we could just skip it and, and uh, go up here. Because this is the way into the uh, mansion. But considering what we're going to... What I encountered in there when I first tried it, I'm going to go get the uh, first aid kit. And of course that's all the way back at the beginning. Oh. 
Okay, it's not a first aid kit. Noden's conch. And a military helmet. Okay, and what does Noden's conch do? Shockingly white, a shockingly white tiny conch shell. Helps from curses, spoiling an evil eye. Okay. Do I have to use it for that, or is it a worn item? Because it, it, it did say take off. And use. I don't know. Well, we'll head in and see, see if it proves itself useful. Oops. Okay, before we go in, we do have like 400 info points. I don't know what that's for. And then $100 cash. You can get more cat you get more cash and more info, but I'm not sure what you can spend either of them on. Uh, right now all I have is a double-barreled shotgun, but from the screens it looks like you can get other weapons inside. You are enveloped by the twilight and smell of old furniture. The walls of this old mansion are thick enough and impenetrable for extraneous sounds. They reliably keep their secrets and only distant rush rustles in your heartbeat or audio. Audible. All right, and there's where I came in. Anything in this room? Don't see anything. So let's go this way. Oh, we got a little info. Over here, hmm, gracious. There's a perfect little model of this very area with a little model of me in there, too. Let's see, that's terrifying. How on earth did someone make that knowing I'd be here? Amazing, odd, odd, but amazing and beautiful, or I should put my hand in and knock some stuff over. Definitely. Ow. Earthquake. And we got a thousand info from it. History of Ancient Cults. What's this do? Useless if you don't want to study the history. History if... Yeah. Useless if you don't want to study the, the history of the ancient cults of mankind. I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to sell it at some point. There's a sheet of paper here with what seems to be strange painting of ink splattered on it. To me, it looks like the last thing I saw. Represents how I feel. Looks like an object. Looks like an ink splatter. Eh, ink splatter. Oh, okay. Uh, object. It looks normal. So nice to see something normal. Okay. Ah, first aid kit. There we go. That'll be useful. And another history of ancient cults. Oh. The hell is hitting me. Okay. Why was I ble why was I getting injured? Atlas of the Ancient World. Could be useful to a time traveler. All the maps in the book are very outdated. What else do we got in here? Nothing. Well, might as well go north. This idol has a head with the form of an octopus. Odd. It's Cthulhu! Eh, apparently nothing. There's a golden tiara lion here. Examine it. I'd say it was solid gold were it not so light and lustru lustrous. Tall in front seems to be made for a freakishly large and round head. It has strikingly puz striking and puzzlingly beautiful patterns. Some simply geometrical, some plainly marine. It is one of the uh, Deep Ones tiaras. 
You described it in uh, Shadows Over Innsmouth. An album of photographs. Leap through it. Bound in soft leather with pond family embossed on the front. The first photograph I see is a staged sepia image of a rather charming looking family consisting of a young man with a somewhat nautical clothing and demeanor, a pretty young wife, and two little children. Leafing through the pages like a journey through the family's history. Oh dear, it seems the young mother is unwell. Her skin changes over time and her posture hunches. Is she one of the marshes? Well, it wasn't just marshes, it was also uh, the Waitleys and... Oh shit! Reload! Heal! I'm gonna die. <sighs> I gotta be a little faster on my feet and work on my aim a bit more. Simple as that. Uh, let's keep going north. Mother! God damn it. Yep, definitely gonna die now. Damn it. Your, your story is over. John Murphy died of wounds in a place known as Old Mansion. Well, that wasn't too bad for a first attempt. We'll try it again in, uh, next time. Thanks for watching.